back heroes to our Stardew Valley Let's Play series. We left off on day 18. That would be episode 11. So we're on episode 12 now. Um, and yes, I am doing a voiceover recording because I did record this episode without me recording my voice. <laughs> if you want to know what happened, I kind of explained a little bit of it in the previous episode. So if you're interested in that, just go back and check out the first couple minutes of that episode. Um, but anyway, uh, what is today? Today's the 18th, which means it's the last day for salmonberry hunting. Um, on my list, I have to go check the help wanted board since it seems like those come in just about every other day. Maybe every, maybe every two days, maybe. Um, but an important thing to note is if I have time, I would like to go to the mine today. And I think I do. Um, but I also run into the issue where, again, I forget my sword. I'm going to have to put a sword in the chest up in the mines. That's just what I'm going to have to do because I always forget that I have to have a sword going into the mines because I don't ever fight enemies anywhere in this game except the mines. So, however, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, but... I'm, I'm pointing out here that I, uh, I picked up that copper bar, but yeah, since I have enough money, I will be upgrading that watering can, so lucky me, I'll be doing that today. Well, the next day that it is a, um, it's gonna rain, which, um, coincidentally is tomorrow? <laughs> Maybe I just overlooked it or something. Okay, so I'm just pulling up all these finished crops. I'm gonna have to go to Pierre's to buy some more things. Technically there's 10 more days left in the season, um, so I'm gonna wanna... I'm definitely gonna wanna put more seeds in, because 10 days is enough for at least potatoes. I think I think that's what I do, is I buy, I pay, buy potatoes here. Um, and doing my math correctly, I, I'll have to buy like 75 potatoes, so... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you guys. That was easy. Um, moving on, it looks like I have enough uh, forgeables to create one of those seed packets. And I don't remember if I do or not, but I definitely do plan on going to Piers and picking up potato seeds. So, um, right here, I'm trying to count the missing crops that I need uh, while going in the menu. So, <laughs> I didn't want to have to try and count that while wasting time. So, I I'm pausing and I'm, <laughs> I'm literally just counting the crops here right underneath the me. So, eh, life hack. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll skip this. Okay, so I figured it out. I'm going to need about 75 seeds total. So, and since I do have 10 days left, um, I'm debating on whether to do potato seeds or maybe something that is. I could technically do something that's nine days. Um, because I want to be able to harvest the seeds on the last day of, uh, of spring. So I need to have a crop that is nine days or less, which I don't think that there is any. I think the, the second highest after potato seeds, oh, look, there is a help wanted thing. I'll, I'll read that in a second. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, let's look here. Six days is the potato. Yeah. So it looks like that's what I decided to do. Now, as you notice, I went under 2,000, but 
um, I plan on um, going ahead and selling some of that crop that I that I harvested and making that money back. So not a, not a big issue. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and skip this all the way up to me planting the seeds. So okay, so I got all of them. It looks like I miscounted. So didn't need the one potato seed, which isn't fine. I mean, it was like 20 gold, not a big deal. So, um, yeah, but I'm definitely gonna dump some stuff here. Um, since the tomorrow, tomorrow is not gonna be a rainy day, I don't need the money immediately. So I can, I can get the crops through the, um, the shipping bit. So not a big deal. But yeah, I needed, uh, I needed to save that green bean in case I get a, a quest, honestly. So, okay. So I just threw everything in there, all of it. <laughs> not a big deal it's actually definitely worth it so I turn on my fan I'm really hot right now sorry if you can hear it uh, but I'm starting salmon berry hunting at 210 not great so as you can tell I'll probably spend the rest of this day salmon berry hunting so um, yeah I was checking the the total money earned there because um, you unlock that that cave, uh, Demetrius, from up uh, up at where Maru's father is, up in the mountain area. Um, he wants to do science experiments on the cave on either mushrooms that can grow in the cave or fruit bats. So, um, but he only shows up once you've earned an accumulative total of twenty five thousand gold on your farm. So. <laughs> we are not there yet. I think we were just passing 6,000, so um, still some time yet to go in order to get him to to utilize the cave. So anyway, let's speed this up. So, um, you might not have seen that in the, the, the time lapse or the speed up section there. Uh, I did find a help wanted board and it was of Clint asking for us to gather 20 copper ore from the mines so he can inspect them. Um, for 200 gold is the reward that we would get if we did that. So, uh, no brainer, obviously. We're going to, we're going to do some serious mining tomorrow. Um, um, yeah, and it's not like he's keeping the ore anyway, so we'll get to keep the 20 ore plus the 200 gold that he gives us to inspect the ore that we mine, so. Um, but yeah, the, the plan for tomorrow is going to be a strict mining day, and since today is the last day for salmonberry hunting, um, 
it's going to be an easy, easy farming day or no nope, easy mining day. Um, now a concern that I might have is not being able to get the 20 ore before um, I can catch Clint, but today's Friday, um, which means he goes to the pub after work. So I'll know where to find him, and he stays in the pub till midnight, so I'll have some time. Um, but yeah, anyway, the uh, Friday also means that it is traveling cart day, so we're going to go check that out. But first, we are going to water our crops, which means another time lapse. <laughs> Um, as you'll notice, I ate a couple of salmon berries. By the way, we did phenomenal on the salmon berry hunt. We had 390, no, 387 salmon berries found. And that's not the ones that I've eaten. <laughs> well, I guess I'm at 380 now, so I've, I'm counting some that I've eaten, obviously. But the previous days, I ate a couple either, or as well. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm on my way now to the traveling cart to go see if she's got any red cabbage seeds. Um, I honestly don't know if I'll need them, um, but yeah, because the red cabbage is one of the items that you get in the bulletin board bundle. Uh, it was one of the, uh, the requests from, I don't remember who it was, but it might have, it might have been, might have been uh, Gus from the saloon, maybe? I could be thinking of somebody else. Maybe I don't know. It doesn't matter. If if the bundle is the exact same, then I'm gonna need a red cabbage seed if I want to try and complete the community center in year one. Um, but I mean, this let's play really isn't focused on min maxing Stardew Valley, uh, so I'm not really a hundred percent worried if I don't complete a community center by community center by year one. So. Um, It'd be nice, don't get me wrong, I would definitely enjoy that, and it's something I'm going to strive for, but I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> anyway, um, Jody sent me a mail this morning, I don't think I, I, I expressed this yet, but Jody sent a mail saying that she's looking for a cauliflower for her meal, or she needs it for a meal, and she'll give me some gold from it, so I'm going to try and find her, ooh, and a help wanted. I'll definitely want that too. Anyway, talk to the elusive Caroline. Oh, Dwight, this is embarrassing. I threw one of your potatoes you sold in the compost bin. <gasps> How dare you? Why did you do that? Now, the whole thing smells horrendous. Where did you find that thing again? I grew it, you jerk. <laughs> Junk? She doesn't like salmon berries? I thought she did. Oh my gosh, neither does her daughter. All right, noted. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know what I'm doing up here, so I don't need to buy anything. So, I'll soon realize and leave, like I'm doing now. Um, but I want to look for Jody. And, oh, yep. This one is from Willie. He's help wanted. He'll pay me 100 gold to catch a largemouth bass. And it doesn't say that he'll keep it either. He just wants me to catch it. To, quote, Keep the art of fishing alive. <laughs> he does that all the time. It's it's funny. Ah, there you are, Jody. She's either usually in Pierre's or she's in Jojo Mart. 
Um, when the community center is built, she goes there every once in a while too. But <laughs> three hundred and fifty gold—that's not bad, especially for us. We are very scrapped on money, so <laughs> I'm ecstatic about that. Anyway, it looks like we're going to the mines now, which is perfect timing because, um, well. It's, it's 1.30, and we need to get 20 ore today and try and catch Gus um, in the saloon before midnight. So, you get to keep the fish. Yeah, it says right there. And he, it says here you get to keep the ores after Clint inspects them. I think that's what I was checking. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so we're here at the mines. And just realizing right now that I don't have a sword again. God, I'm a boob. Um, but anyway, I can manage to get 20 ore without a sword. I'll just try my best to avoid enemies. Um, I don't think I'm going to strive for going deeper into the mines. Um, just because. I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's necessary. Especially when I don't have a sword anyway. Um, plus it's 240. The tomorrow I have on my list that I want to catch that fish for Willy in the mountain range. Um, for quest, I'm write this down again. <clears throat> yeah, and right there you could you could tell that I was researching to see how much time left to hell on that quest, and I have today. So, yay. <laughs> And here I'm realizing, oh my gosh, these guys are very difficult to kill. And yeah, if you didn't know, those bugs, the little larva, turns into those little flyers. So. But today, I'm going to do my, my best to avoid getting hit by those things. As you can tell, I am not good. <laughs> Just looking for any la ladder that I can. <clears throat> I'll eventually find one. But I have enough salmon berries here to, to help me with a little bit of health. Every time he hits me, I lose about salmon berry worth of health. There it is! Whew. Lucky me. Yeah, anyway, I uh, found some quartz, which will be helpful. But I guess I'm just going to skip it. <laughs> and if you didn't know, Floor 18 had coal cart on it, which I will eventually go back and get. Um, in fact, I'm going to put that on the notes right now. Floor 18, coal cart. Uh-oh. I need to eat one of those cinnamon berries here. But floor 19 is just a big spiral of death. <laughs> yeah, and if I remember right, this is this floor gave me some trouble. Not a big issue, but the flyers come up out of nowhere, and well, I just have to avoid them until I find a ladder. But floor 19 also has a whole bunch of barrels at the center of its spiral, and right now I'm realizing, hmm. Barrels can drop if you break them. There's a chance that you can they can drop weapons. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I don't have weapon because I'm a dum dum, and left it at home. <laughs> but to be fair, it's a dagger, and I hate daggers so much. They uh, they're difficult to use, I think. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm I'm making my way to the center to, in an attempt to break those barrels here. And breaking all the white stones as I can, because those will give me a guaranteed stone drop. Excuse me, bug. I'm almost there. Oh, didn't I break that? Boom. There you go. And since I don't have a sword or a dagger, I'm gonna have to bust it with an axe <coughs> and waste some energy. But whatever. It's fine. Let's see what we get. Some stone. 
basic retaining soil. Okay, that's useful. A geode. I got that topaz. Another amethyst. I think that's a magnetic ring too. Uh, yeah, 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 it's a magnet ring. Crunchy, 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 crunchy. Yum. And a cave carrot, some copper, deal, <gasps> another topaz, and some mix seeds. Rip. <clears throat> Rip the dream. Ah, yes. The wonderful, wonderful bug. Just wants to annoy me. How rude. And here I am desperately trying to find a ladder before I exhaust myself. Well, oh, too late. <laughs> I don't pay attention either. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here I am looking desperately to try and find something to level up in <laughs> before the end of the night. <clears throat> anyway, now I have two bugs on me, which means twice as damage, or twice the damage now. Let's see if I can get them stacked on top of me here. Ugh. Get out of there. Oh my gosh, am I gonna make it? I don't even know. I mean, I do know, but I'm trying to build suspense. <laughs> Oop. Nope. Oop. Get out of here. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh my goodness. That exhaustion is gonna suck later. Cause I don't think that I level up anything in this <clears throat> in this run. You would think mining since it's only level two right now. <clears throat> ah finally. And I get a magnet ring. No not a sword. A magnet ring. Ugh. It's fine. They're useful. They're just not super useful. Um, but I still need nine more copper ore, so I gotta go get a couple more veins, and then I will be on my way to the saloon, hopefully before midnight, so I can catch Gus in, um, he might honestly be on his way home, so we'll see. I need two more, that's insane. Ooh, yes. Oh, another thing, um, I think I remember talking about in the episode when I didn't record it. <clears throat> um, I do know that there is a plot of land in the southern, south, southwestern area of the beach that I can plant and put sprinklers on, which I will be doing. Um, however, um, I think I did the math... Because it is a um, it's a twenty by ten plot of land. If you don't count the like the weird two plots, um, um, yeah. Anyway, the uh, the strategy there is to build basic sprinklers or not basic but standard sprinklers. <clears throat> and um, out of a out of all of the twenty by ten plots, which is two hundred plots of land. I can use 28 sprinklers total in order to fill all of the plots of land there. So, and here I am, I'm just trying to leave the mine because I realize it's almost midnight and I gotta catch them, so. Um, but yeah, I'll need 28 sprinklers, which the uh, the standard, or the, the what's, the st what's the second tier of sprinklers? Basic? No. Oh man, it's gonna bug me. I have to look it up. Sprinkler. That's a beauty of uh, quality. Quality sprinklers. There it is. Thank you. Anyway, quality sprinklers cost one iron bar, one gold bar, and one refined quartz to build. And I'm gonna need 28 of the quality sprinklers to get all of the 200 plots watered, essentially. 
Hey, there's Clint. You brought me some ore. I'll inspect local ore from time to time to keep track of quality. Let me just take a look at these. Hmm. I see. Thank you. You can keep these ores. They're good quality. That's right, my boy. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's see how much he paid us, because I forgot. Was it just a 300? No, it was 200. Anyway, the, squat, the, the sprinklers, yeah, back to, my, back to that story. I'm going to need 28 of the sprinklers, which means um, I'm going to need 28 iron bars and gold bars. But you need a total of 5 ore to make a bar. So I need 140 iron ore and 140 gold ore and 28 or quartz to smelt down into refined quartz. So, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. So, anyway. Um, but I'll also need probably about 100 coal, too. So, there's a lot of mining in our future, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of mining. So, um, <clears throat> here I am just trying to organize everything as best as I can before it gets super late. And, yeah, I think I decided just to sell most of it. <clears throat> but, uh, where am I? Yeah, the topaz, those are good money. I'll keep that copper, so I think I might even start some before the end of the night. Now, I don't know why. I oh, because, yeah, that's a quest. The amethyst can be a quest item from uh, Abigail. So, that's important to uh, at least keep one or two on hand. I'm not really 100% um, on board with giving my minerals and uh, gems to Gunther here at the beginning of the game, uh, just because I need money as fast as I can. So I, uh, I'll tend to just kind of, I'll tend to kind of skip it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I'm exhausted and I'm going to bed, which isn't a good thing. <laughs> so. Here I am just wasting more time because, I don't know, I'm upset at myself because I didn't level up a skill. <laughs> I'm just going to have to eat a whole bunch of salmon berries tomorrow. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But, unfortunately, I realize this. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. <laughs> Which means I should have stopped by Clint today and dropped off that stinking watering can. And then I realized, oh wait, I don't have... Five bars, so I need to smelt two more of those copper bars. So I decided to get out of bed, go throw it in, jump in bed for two o'clock. Because why not shoot myself in the foot even more? <laughs> okay, anyway, that was the end of that episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see if I leveled up. I don't think I did. <clears throat> yeah, I did not. So, this will be fun starting next episode. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.